I just want to say that I am really not satisfied with this whole project that is going on in Canvas City. One of the things is the contractors that came into Canvas City that did not notify no member of the community. They just came to Canvas City and start grading. From that, they came and they damaged our pipes as residents of Canvas City. Most of the houses had no water for two weeks straight. Well, mines were longer. I had no water for three weeks. They didn't come to us. They didn't say anything to us. When I approached them, it was most disrespectful. I had to go and take money and buy my pipe to replace my pipe because when I get on to GWI, GWI says the contractor responsible because they came and they cover all the pipes. I took my money, I purchased my pipe, and they promised to refund me my money. That was a hell and high water. The contract disrespectfully told me that they don't have money. And let me know that the pipe that I put down, I have to replace it again because he brought a man to my home to let me know that the pipe that was run, he assumed that I run the pipe by myself. It's GWI come and run my pipe after I bought back my pipes. Now the contractor came at me. This is how disrespectful they are to residents. Bring one of his workers to said, I am bringing you to her to let her know the pipe that she paid the man to put down, she got to move it again because I have work to do. I call on the water authority and I give him the report. The water authority said to me, tell the contractor to get on to them because that is disrespect. They are very disrespectful to residents. After the water problem, they came, they threw down a lantern post just in front of my resident all the electrical wire on my shop and in my walkway. <coughs> this situation is really terrible for us as residents. We live here all the years and we see that this project that they're doing here, it's not being done properly. There is no drain, there is no shoulder um, to the two sides of the road as they say they're catering for corp walls. We are not satisfied with that because I am a resident of Canvas City and I'm suffering because of this for 12 long years. The water from the drain is going on the road in front of my residence. School children are affected every day for 12 long years. Teachers has to be jumping over that dirty water every morning. The road users, the taxi driver, as they drive on the road, the water pitches on people that walk the road, pedestrians, and go into my business place. I had to close it down. Because of this situation with this road, one week straight I could not have gone to work because no water. They ain't even had, I went tilted where they were and I said, look, in your place have water. I have none. I need water because i make demands to get back my pipe i am the worst thing they start giving me attitude yesterday morning to be exact the contractor hire a driver to bring some steel on site the truck came down here put off the steel look the steel is there look the distance when the driver left this site he drove from here straight to the front of the Canvas City Road with the truck boom up. Hit down the lantern post, down across the road. School children had to run. School children had to run. Hit. Look, this paper that I have in my hands here is from another pastor. This is Pastor Marlene Dowding of 479 Canvas City. And her number is 444-8282. She's a pensioner. She cannot walk or else she would have been at this meeting. She asked me to show you guys this. In her house yesterday, they, all her bulbs were catch a fire. She found catch a fire. My microwave, after the post fell, my microwave was on fire.
Nobody came to us. The contractor, when I asked our deputy to say something to him because he's behaving as a bully, like he owned Canva City. When the deputy told him about my stuff, he just watched the deputy and he walked away. Never said a word to us. Now, there are things that damage because of this lantern post that he hit down on the road. And there is no satisfaction. This road, we need a drain for this road because this is a hilly sand and clay area. If there was proper drainage, I would have never been suffering as a resident of Canva City for 12 long years. The Siram brother came to Canva City since 2002 and put a coca in front of a private resident that is my resident. So when rain falls because there's no proper drainage, all the water, the dirty water that came all the way from Black 22 to Canva City, it overthrew in my yard and in front of my premises. So now it's going on the road. So I know what I, why I am out here. I know why I'm out here. I am not the only one suffering from this. The entire community, school children, teachers. I'm glad if you show up here on Monday morning to see how these beautiful teachers in the shoe have to be skipping and looking to spot to walk to get to school because of the drainage problem. It's not that we don't want development in our community, and this is not politics. For me, I am not a politician. I am for right, because till now, for 12 years, I'm suffering, and nobody is coming to give us an assistance. And if this road is going to be done, it must be done properly. We are demanding our drains and everything that is on that paper concerning this road. Thank you very much. I'm a pensioner as well. Now, the concern here is to get the road done properly. We need to have a drain because I'm living here for years and water does come across the creek then from the creek and coming straight on the road. Right where I live and right behind this gentleman that is standing in front of me, if you look properly there, you can see the edge. When they came and bulldoze, grid way, leave nothing. I spoke with the engineer yesterday that he was here, and he told me, you know, I turned to word that till next year, before they do something like a cobalt that could hold back this land, and that can't work. By time next year, my house and everything will come right down on, the, on this road here. And that isn't going to be the right thing. So I'm asking for a road to be done properly so that we could get to enjoy ourselves right here. Now, the next thing that surprised me on Tuesday, when the minister was here, the man came with a barrage of personnel, policemen and everything. At no time, he never said, well, as he's here, let me get a chance to talk with the residents directly for you, for yourself. What is the problem and see what adjustment or what you could do. The man never said that. As a minister and as a bishop, you surprised me a lot, really. Really surprising to me. If, it's a pity you're going to go further there and see exactly what I'm talking about concerning my walkway and where I'm living and everything. It isn't nice. So I'm glad that the regional chairman and the deputy mayor and everybody come out and helping us to make sure we get a proper road and a curb wall because you, you, uh, if you look there, you could see how it's, how it's situated. Anything could happen there. It's sand, not most there. Everything that was old in this land, they bulldoze. Right? So I'm just glad that I get the opportunity for talk. As a, on behalf of, the, of a resident in Kansas City here. Thank you.